Welcome aboard our Marine Max 2019 66 Magellano. It's referred to a little bit as an expedition yacht. Uh, we like to think of it as our Italian stallion. Uh, the reason being in the segment it's in, it's a long range type cruiser. We've designed the yacht to be run by a couple or a family. If someone wants to crew it, they can crew it as well. But it's designed to go long range and be very fuel efficient, give you a tremendous amount of room to live aboard for long periods of time, and give you all the comforts of home. Power on the yacht is twin 800 horse Volvos, and your, your rated cruise is 8 knots or 16 knots, it'll top 23 knots. It's winter in New York, we're going to move pretty quickly so we can see the whole boat today, and I'll just move through the uh, nice details. We do have it covered up again, it's freezing up here, so I'll just walk you through. Our upper helm is located here, you have upper and lower helms, we have two bucket seats so a couple can sit together, be very, very comfortable. Uh, boat of this is a large settee. When I run the boat, it's not uncommon. I can have uh, two at the helm and four to five forward. So a uh, home run there. Overhead is a really nice hard top. We've got a sliding center section so you can have uh, sun, shade, or stars at night. And it's fully, fully shaded. If you do want to enclose it, you can, but open air is the way to go for us. Across from the helm here, you have a nice uh, grilling area and wet bar. But really, you've got dining for 8 to 10. There's uh, exterior chairs that will come with the boat. You can have them up top. You can have them down below. You're going to see a lot of room for dining on this boat outside. So again, 8 to 10 here. All our tables are beautiful high-gloss woods. And then this is located right across from your sink, your grill, and your refrigeration. You move through, you're just going to see storage is everywhere. This is the refrigerator. The ice maker will see down below. More storage is across. And when you're when you're cooking, it's really nice. You can put some food out here. You can also put a we have a large area here where you can really put out platters of food or chicken or whatever you're doing. We've got also got a shower right here overhead. Nice place after a swim. You have a shower on the lower uh, deck area, you have another one up top. So again, if you're a little warm up here, take a shower, cool off. Another nice area to put some food out again if you're eating. A couple of uh, plates of food, people can serve themselves and go sit down. This, this area, uh, we have what we call a saint shade. It's a quick and easy sunshade. You're going to plug in a few posts. It'll come from this uh, rear of the hard top all the way up. So this area can be completely shaded, which is nice in the afternoon. In the evening, you can remove it and have all the sun. You have room here for chase lounges, you can have multiples, when we stow them you can stack them, zip them, put them away. But again, if you look, you've got three really distinctive uh, areas to hang around on the flybridge. So super large, and this will also cover the lower cockpit and keep you uh, out of the sun below. We've got a door up top, it's basically a rain door, if it was raining out you can close your door, and you have no water coming down your staircase. So let's go down to the cockpit. So this 66 Magellano is going to have a hydraulic swim platform. You can put quite a large tender on board. You can also use it the way we do is uh, anywhere we go, we drop it in the water, we swim off it, we're on it all day. It's a nice place to sit on and eat. And then you've got uh, port and starboard boarding areas, very easy to get on and off the yacht. We have very large winches so that again when you get to a, a slip you don't have to try and pull your boat over. You get a line on the cleat, crank it down, makes life easy for anyone helping you. The rear of the boat, you have a crew cabin, it's set up for two and crew. It's got a very large bed and then a uh, swing down uh, bed. So one to two, the way it's set up is uh, very well done. Your crew can come and go without interrupting an owner. They come through the staircase. So we move up into the boat here. This uh, is one of my favorite parts of the boat. Basically breakfast, lunch, and dinner for me is right here. You got dining for six to eight again, really eight to ten. Massive storages. These seats slide out and, and the entire base of the seat is completely storage. Here again, high gloss cherry tables. And then uh, a nice uh, bar area here. Again, just uh, running water. And then there's your ice maker. Again, another great place to put some food. You can put a TV out here if you like. And then we have more storage here, which is just, again, massive. The entire staircase, great place for Coast Guard equipment, 
uh, lines, any of that type stuff. Also, as you move through the boat, you're going to have music throughout. So you have music up top, music below. There's controls everywhere for everything. And then we've got these great uh, side boarding gates. So very often, your side two on the yachts, you're able to get in and out easy. They make a lot of sense and uh, makes boarding easy. We did design the boat as you move around it to be able to uh, move freely with uh, whether it's luggage or big fenders. You're going to see these uh, gunnels, uh, very, very uh, right-sized and wide. Again, very easy to move about. And then you're also going to see best-in-class windows. The entire vessel, 360 degrees, is glass. Just here again, we have massive storages, so I won't open them all, but all the way around, We've got these massive storages for, for dash covers, uh, windshield covers, any of these covers, fenders, lines, the supports for the uh, Saint Tropez shade up top. So again, just massive, massive storage. You're never going to need more storage than think you do. So another great spot on the way, you know, again, six to eight people easy. Two lockers on the side, two massive lockers here, huge chain lockers forward again, more room for fenders here. And this will have a plumb bow, so the full length of the water more or less is a, a running surface. Very smooth running boat, it likes any speed. You can go you can go about 400 nautical miles at a good clip. If you slow it up, you can really, really, really run. Tremendous, tremendous differences. The nice thing, if you get heavy weather and you want to get out of it, you're able to run it up. It's got a sea keeper gyro, so the boat doesn't rock. They're really, really comfortable boat for anybody aboard. Also got a nice brow, overhangs the window, keeps the sun off, the operator down below. Very, very quiet helm. We do have a side uh, uh, door to get in and out. Right now it's just bumped open a little so you can see it. But this will get you in and out of the cabin halfway so you're not running through the salon. Also gives an owner privacy if the captain's got to get in and out of the boat. They're not running through the salon interrupting the family if they're dining. After the salon, first thing you're going to notice is this beautiful warm gray oak. We call it a uh, metropolitan interior. It's new for us this year. Really gave the boat a uh, modern style. The other option is a cantaletto walnut, also beautiful, very rich, and uh, warm. So again, we have two choices. Uh, this is a little bit lighter, and again, very slick, uh, very Italian, but at the same time comfortable and luxurious. The first thing you walk in. You've got two beautiful sofas, they oppose each other. Great area to just relax, lay down. You can be here on the way again, the boat is super, super comfortable. We've got the TV up now, you've got a Bose home theater, surround sound, uh, just excellent sound and AV through the boat. It's all complete, DSS system. And right out here we'll have some uh, glasses and bar area so you can serve in or out. AV is located down below and some more bottle storage and such here. The vessel is four cabins, so we don't do any pull-out sofas here. There's just going to be storages underneath, little floating uh, coffee table. TV drops down, disappears when you uh, want it to disappear. And right now we have the curtains up, uh, very light, very bright. In the evening, if I'm watching a movie, close your drapes, close your uh, drapes here. And you have total, total privacy. The other great thing we pick up at this size Magellano is a dining area, separate table. You've got six frog chairs. They're beautiful leather chairs, They're very, very comfortable. And really, these beautiful lights and ceiling uh, treatments, so uh, not, not something you're going to see on other brands of yachts. Very Italian. At the same time, very, very functional, very beautiful, uh, very nice tones. The galley area, we have a, a shade can be up or down, so depending on what you're doing, if you're entertaining maybe for someone's birthday, you don't want to see your uh, chef on board, this can be dropped. There is another version that will close this area off. Well, American market, we like to keep it open. It is available, though, with uh, doors that would close this helm area off. Um, you got a wine cooler here. And again, uh, some more storage is here. But another nice area to put you know, food or magazines or anything you might be doing as you move through the boat. 
all your other flatware is in here. So again, you have service for eight. And um, everything you'll need to cook a meal on board, you've got all your pots and pans. They're four in one. They're still nice and easy. Everything's logo to Azimut. Beautiful china. First class. Moving to the helm area, uh, we really do a great job here. Ergonomically, these boats are so spot on. You can sit, you can stand, you have plenty of adjustment. You want to be able to relax when you run a boat. This boat, you can totally relax. Everything's at fingertip reach. We've got dual displays, upper and lower. You've got a uh, joystick uh, arrangement where anything you do with the boat, with your joystick, the boat responds in kind, so anybody can run this boat. We also do separate bow and stern thrusters. These can be run on their own or they're integrated into the joystick. So whatever you're gonna, whatever you prefer, you know, it just lets you run the boat nice and easy. And uh, we do have opening windows, so if you need to speak with someone or just want to get some fresh air, you have that as well. And then it's beautiful, beautiful galley. We've got all Mealy appliances, uh, convection microwave, uh, four uh, hob range, totally trouble free. And then we've just done, again, a nice job. There's your uh, cooking uh, setup. It's a four in one pot, but really nice storage is just for this and that. And then we've got a stainless steel fridge freezer, storages, storages, anywhere we can put storage. You've got it all throughout, so plenty of room. You're not going to want for more there. And here's your pilot house door to get in and out. It's got a push button lock to lock it so you don't have to wrestle with it. One touch, it'll close. Another touch, it's ready to be opened. Now we'll move below. This boat is uh, very striking. Uh, you're going to see as you get below, just a beautiful, beautiful yacht. Four cabins, going to sleep eight in four cabins. You've got another two in crew. We're going to start with the lobby. So all these cabins are beautiful. And we've got a nice separate washer dryer. Um, not, not a combo. So separate washer and dryer. They're mealy. They do a great job. And they're located where you're going to use them. It's down in the cabins. Here again, beautiful uh, metropolitan uh, warm gray oak, and this will be a VIP. It's as nice as any cabin on any yacht. So what Azimut's done here, you can see tremendous amount of room in this cabin. As a long range cruising type yacht, we wanted to give you just a lot of storages. So you have a his and hers port and starboard for folded uh, clothing, shirts and shorts and that type stuff. And then we've got these very, very large lockers here. Right now we've got a little gear in it. But uh, this is going to be hanging. You've got some storage here, shelves here. We do a great job with nice full-length mirrors. And here again, shelves. So really just tons of room. Then you can lift up your bed. There's massive storages there. We've got these really classy drop-in little lockers, car keys, wallets watches, cell phones, any of that. And then we've got reading lights. So again, just beautiful. Uh, cinema bar for TV. All the AV is complete. Every cabin's got it. So you don't really need to add a thing. Bathrooms, again, are just stunning. We don't have any of our towels out yet. The boat comes with uh, towels for every passenger. But beautiful medicine chest. Everything mirrored, but just so well done. Uh, every time I'm on these boats, I really... Uh, just say, wow, beautiful design, slick, not too glitzy, but just really as good as it gets in Italian uh, design. And this is a midsize uh, Magellana. We build right now up to 25 uh, meter is the new boat, which is quite large. It's in the mid 80s. That'll be a pilot house. Next, I'm gonna pop into the twin bed here. So this is side-by-side -side bunks, uh, adults, kids, whatever you want to do here. They've got the AV, storage under the beds, nice storage is here, everything lit. And then they, they can get access to the day head, which is shared with this cabin, is right through here. We've got a heater going on in there now to keep things warm. But um, the guests do not have to come out of the cabin. And then other guests aboard, if they wanted to come and use a bathroom, they would come through this door not to disturb the other guests. But here again, just beautifully done, black lacquer, beautiful grays, some browns, 
and these beautiful marbles. All these showers are also, you'll see stall showers, no pull-arounds. Really nice size, very comfortable. All the cabins have portholes with screens. They're beautiful looking. They open, do the job. You know, in the fall in uh, Newport, we've always got them open. No air conditioning on. A beautiful breeze running through the boat. So really just beautiful. We hop into our next cabin. This is going to be upper and lower bunks. And here again, we've got two really nice size beds, really nice hanging locker. In this cabin, we do TVs upper and lower at the foot of the bed so that both guests can get a good view of uh, whatever they're watching. And it's surprisingly large and comfortable. Now we'll go aft to the uh, master cabin. You just Every time I walk in it, I just go, wow. But look at the beautiful, beautiful design. This boat isn't even decorated yet. It's just factory standard. So uh, you're going to see these massive windows, best in class. They both have portholes. I put the uh, blinds here so you can see them opened. Over here, we've closed them a little bit to give you the look there. But we've got this beautiful settee right at the uh, window. It's a nice area to uh, read or, or uh, look at an iPad or the day's business. Uh, you can have do makeup here. But you're really at this beautiful window with a breeze. You can watch the ducks swim by, see uh, what's going on on the beach. It's really something else. The storage is, again, the bed lifts up. Massive, massive storage here. And then you, you just can't believe how large these storages are. So they really wanted to have someone not want for more storage. And boy, did they hit it. This is as good as you get, and this, th those are the towel sets. They'll be in the cabins when you uh, pick up the boat. But again, tons of hanging area. The uh, rack slides out, so it's easy to get on it. You know, things behind it. Very sensible. And then here again, all nice storages. Really deep drawers. Really well made. And then they've got these great little areas on the side. You wouldn't even know they're there, but again, very nice area. So things are put away, they're not laying all over the place. Again, your nice watch or your jewelry, whatever you're doing. And then here again, AV throughout the cabins with a cinema bar. The sound that comes out of that is amazing. And then here's your master bath. You're just going to see very, very large bathroom. The same uh, beautiful tones and accents and lacquers. You know, just look at that bathroom uh, shower. Just again, just beautiful. Rain shower overhead. And just perfect decor, I think. We'll head on up. So thanks for uh, visiting our Azimuth 66 Magellano. We make a 43, a 53, a 66. There's a brand new uh, 25 meter, which is about 84 feet pilot house that's just coming out now. And I hope you'll visit us at a Marine Max location, a boat show near you. Thanks again for your interest in Azimuth Yachts.